your opening shot at Country Club of the South will need to be accurate. The left side is preferable to take advantage of a fairway that slopes from left to right, leaving a middle or short iron to the green. Very intimidating from the tee. Most players will use a fairway wood or a long iron to the left center of the fairway. The second shot must carry the water which guards the front and entire left side of the green. This three-shot par-5 has a generous landing area for most tee shots. The second shot, however, is played to a narrow fairway. The left side is the best angle for wedge shots to the green. The par 4 fourth requires two solid shots from tee to green. Accuracy to the green is the key due to very difficult bunkers and chip shots if the green is missed. The par 3 fifth is a reasonable birdie opportunity if you can avoid the small lake fronting the green. Still, watch out for bogeys when the pin is in the back left. An excellent hole for letting your driver loose, but watch out for the fairway bunkers that will catch any stray tee shots. The green can be reached in two, but its three levels place a premium on putting.
If your tee shot on this par four misses slightly left, it may come back into the fairway because of favorable slopes. If the ball stays on a hillside, however, you'll have a difficult second shot into a tough green. Your tee shot to the par 3 eighth is a downhill middle iron to a difficult green. Leave the ball in the wrong part of the green and you'll see a very difficult putt. Your tee shot on the number one handicap hole must be long and straight. You'll have a long approach to reach the green in regulation. Smart plays are to the left side of the green to avoid the water on the right. The reachable par 5 tenth is a birdie hole for long hitters. If you can't reach the green, leave the ball on the top of the hill and position your second shot short right to avoid the bunkers. Avoid the long fairway bunker on the left with your tee shot on the par 4 11th. And don't miss the green with your approach shot. It's a difficult green for chipping. The scenic par 4 12th is short, but watch out on your approach. The long, narrow green is protected by water on both the front and right.
This intimidating par 3 has two greens separated by a hazard. Watch out for a pin position close to the hazard. The tough par 4 14th requires a long uphill drive to reach the fairways plateau. Watch out for the trees on the left and the hazard on the right. You'll need all of your driver off the tee to clear the hazard which protects the right side. Be careful to avoid the bunker on the right with your second shot. You'll need to think positioned the entire way on this three-shot par five. Off the tee, long and left center is best. You'll need to carry water on your second shot and watch out for bunkers with your third shot. On the downhill par 3 17th, a premium is placed on accuracy since it's a difficult green. Missing the green here could spell bogey. Your tee shot on 18 will be played uphill to a crown fairway. Long hitters will carry the crown and avoid the bunker on the right. Your second shot will be deceivingly short to a well-bunkered green. <laughs> 